Hi everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to do this beautiful technique I call full polish stoned. It just gives such a rich, beautiful background. First of all, you need a piece of glossy cardstock. You can use regular cardstock, and this is how it would look, only not quite as shiny, but it can get the same effect. But I prefer the glossy. First of all, you need to get the Platinum All-Purpose Ink, and you just need a drop of this, and you can just pour, pour out a drop or use an eyedropper. Uh, if it's a full bottle, you might want to do an eyedropper. I've spilled it so many times already, but it still um, goes a long, long way. You put the drop into a bowl or a just some kind of a container. This one works well. And you need plastic wrap, just a piece about like this. Crunch it up. Touch it into your drop of paint or ink and then splatter a little bit on the other side or off off the main drop. Gets off the excess ink and you just pounce it. And you see how far a drop goes. If you want to do a bunch of cards, you could do a couple drops, but you have to be careful because this is dry already. See, it's all perfectly dried, so it dries instantly. And then this can be washed off with just water. If you get it on your fingers, it just washes off. After that, you take the color that you're looking to match your card. This is Tempting Turquoise and Pear Pizzazz. And I'm using a sponge. A little tip on the sponges, you want to use the rounded side. And sponges come in fours. They, they, they come like this. And then you just cut them in fours and then you get four sponges. You don't want to use the flat side because that would leave marks. It would leave like, um, well, little square marks. So you want to use the rounded side and we're just going to get some color onto the, onto the sponge and just tap it. You don't want to twist it or anything on this because you want it to look sort of splattery. And if you twist it, you'll get a more solid image. But for this look again, we're just going to pounce it. That's good. Now I'll take the pear and again pounce it on there. You don't have to fill in the piece completely because you want to give it sort of the light airy look. And that's it such a beautiful look and so easy to do. I've also done this in a couple other colors and here is one that was done with Daffodil Delight and Melon Mambo doing the same thing with the silver. And here's another card that um, I put some roses on there and a little bit of bling and this was done with the ink is actually rich razzleberry and then it matched perfectly with the rose red. Another technique that you can use using the paints is called Faux Mother of Pearl and that uses the frost white ink. It's done the same way and here is a card that it's hard to tell on the camera but it's not, you don't have the silver, but it's the same look. Now this particular one, instead of pouncing it with the ink, I just brayered it over. And here is a look of doing the silver the same, but then brayering this entire card piece in uh, Melon Mambo. So you have a bunch of different looks that you can use just using the one little technique. You don't need alcohol inks, you don't need any of that, and it still gets the same effect. So I hope you enjoyed this technique. Anxious to see your cards. Just send me your card and I'd be happy to put it on my site. Thanks again and have a great day.